I was in first grade. Um, and it's so funny, I've only told this story to like a couple of people. Why am I getting emotional? Okay, um, so in first grade, I'm the same person, same person that I am right now, just a little smaller. And there was this white kid on the playground. He was in my class. You know how you, you, would, you would go to different classes throughout the day, so you may have you know, your science class over here, and then you may have you know, whatever classes over here. But in PE, you would all come together and go outside. So this young man always had a problem with me. Even if he sat behind me, there was an issue, or he would push me, or he would shove me. And this one particular day, we went outside on the playground, on the blacktop. Hello, remember that word? And um, he pushed me down and called me a nigger. And it was the first time that I actually heard the word, so I don't know why the word it's like I knew that it meant something derogatory without anyone ever saying it to me before. But it hurt my feelings so much. And I remember just from the soles of my feet coming all the way up to my eyes, I just, I was enraged. I was, um, I'd never been that mad before because I was pretty much a, a happy-go-lucky kid. But I was incensed with rage. And I went over and I picked up that red and white jump rope. Remember those, the thick ones? And I slapped him across the face with it. I did. And it was the first, I think it was the first time that I'd ever been so mad as to raise my hand to somebody, you know? And I also remember him going to the principal and creating this story of how I'd you know, taunted him and followed him around. And that made me even more mad because I was like, wow. And the idea of you flipping it on me to make me seem like, you know, the bad person. So I'll, of course, back then, you know, principals were allowed to give you spankings. So my principal, a white older lady in her 70s, uh, sat us down and basically said, you know, it's really improper for you to hit somebody. That's like, we don't do that here. And I remember saying, but what about what he said? And she was like, but those are words. Those are words. You don't put your hands on somebody. And I was like, oh my God, I guess that's true. So I went home and, well, actually the principal called my mom and I was so nervous. I remember thinking my mother is going to kill me because of course she's raised me to be loving, understanding, giving, all these things, and rational. You know, that's something that I feel that a lot of people need to understand about black moms is that from a young age we are conditioned to be rational because we don't have the luxury of being anything else, right? And so it's not like we're raised to be these crazy people that just ruin everything in the room or toss things around. It's like conduct yourself in a mannerable way or, you know, dot, dot, dot. And you knew what the dot, dot, dot was. So, of course, I'm like, oh, my gosh, my mother is this classy, regal woman, and she's going to have to come up to the school because of something that I did. So I just sunk in the chair and I felt immediate like um, fear and it wasn't for the principal and it wasn't for that young man it was for the fact that my mom is about to probably cuss me out in front of these people so I remember her walking in and um, she said well what happened my ch I know my child didn't do dot 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 and the principal said well she put her hands on someone today and my mom said well why why would you do that and I told her the story and she said can I talk to my child for a second and the principal's like, yes, you know, of course. It's because the principal's thinking, we're in this together. And my mom takes me to the side and she said, I'm just gonna need you to follow my lead right now. Okay, just follow my lead. And I said, okay. So we go back in and my mom goes, you cannot do this. You cannot put your hands on anybody else. You must not do this. This is not okay. And of course I'm crying. I'm like, I'm so sorry. You know, she's like, I forgive you. You know, say you're sorry to this young man. And we, and we went home. 
And I was looking out the window, just think, and I remember this like it was yesterday. I'm looking out the window and I'm just like, man, nope, no one's validating me yet, you know? We get home, we sit down for dinner, and my mom goes, um, I'm really proud of you. I'm really proud of what you did. And I was like, really? And she goes, yeah. She said, I asked you to follow my lead because in that instance, there's nothing I could say or that you could say that was going to make that right. There was not enough people in the room that have ever been through that that would understand that. And I know that you're young now and you don't understand what I mean, but this is going to be your first lesson in racism.